How Helicopters Land in Stormy Seas Military helicopters have to land in some of the most dangerous places on Earth. One of the most dangerous is at sea. Wind speeds when landing on an aircraft carrier can be lethal, and that's not taking into account all the other hazards that the vehicle needs to navigate before touching down safely. But amazingly, helicopters are able to land safely on deck in punishing conditions. This video is going to explore how they do it. Before we take a look at this, just a quick reminder to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it, and also to subscribe for more videos just like this one. But now, back to helicopters landing in rough seas. There was a time when helicopters simply couldn't land in choppy oceans. This was beyond the tolerance of the vehicles and put both the crews of the helicopter and the aircraft carrier at risk. Because of this, it was essential to develop a system where navies across the world could get their helicopters to take off and land safely in all conditions. In the 1950s, many navies around the world were introducing all-weather helicopters that were versatile in completing jobs, which ranged from logistical support to anti-submarine warfare. These vehicles were very useful but had one problem, they couldn't take off and land in rough conditions. Many commentators suggested simply abandoning these missions, but the Canadian Navy decided to run a series of tests to see if they could find a way to facilitate these useful helicopters. The Navy's Experimental Squadron 10, based at Shearwater, were tasked with finding a solution. Early work involved customizing the flight deck of HMCS Buckingham. Then the Sikorsky H-04S3 helicopter and later the larger Sikorsky H-34 were tested to see if they could land with the new system. These trials were successful and the operation of helicopters from Canadian destroyers was then given full approval. The device that would be responsible for this success was, and still is, called a bear trap. Its full name is a helicopter haul-down and rapid securing device. It allows the safe landing in conditions of the rolling of helicopters up to 30 degrees, with 9 degrees of the pitch having a sea state of 6. It works using a probe from the vehicle that's dropped down and attached to a cable on the deck from the bear trap mechanism. The crew on deck completes the connection by hand. Then, the automatic hydraulic system controls the tension in the cable as it pulls it in to land. Tension passes from the helicopter to the cable, which means that the more secure cable on deck is able to pull the vehicle in, rather than the helicopter providing the thrust in risky conditions. This increases stability for both the flight deck and vehicle. Not only does the bear trap allow for a safe landing, but it also guides the helicopter back into its hangar automatically. The system is essentially foolproof and is still used today with minimal changes since its introduction. However, there is one flaw to the system, which is the risk of members of the aircraft carrier crew being blown overboard. However, this has been mitigated with ASSIST, or Aircraft Ship Integrated Secure and Traverse. This deploys optical positioning technology that remotely monitors the helicopter's position and control during landing until it is perfectly aligned with the landing area. This avoids a manual connection needed from a person on board. The bear trap on deck grips the cable attached to the helicopter without delay. This leads to a very safe landing with no need for any human intervention. This also includes the helicopter's trip to the hangar, which also needs no manpower to complete. There's a huge advantage to this method. The movement can allow for transportation in much more severe conditions than if it was towed in an orthodox way. Because of the amount of time it would otherwise take, there was a genuine risk that the helicopter could be blown off deck, but the bear trap has all but reduced this risk completely. The initial version of the bear trap, as installed by the Canadian military on HMCS Buckingham, was re-engineered by the Dartmouth-based company Ferry Aviation to tweak the initial design. HMCS Assiniboine then hosted the new version of the Bear Trap during a conversion performed between 1962 and 1963. In late 1963, the Sikorsky CH-124 Sea King had just been introduced, which was an excellent opportunity to trial the system. The process of takeoff, landing and movement to and from the hangar was completed successfully, and although there was one early issue where the cable would snap, this was resolved and the trials proved an effective method of navigating rough seas. This officially became the first system of its kind. 
In 1967, the bear trap was eventually cleared for service. The Sikorsky CH-124C King was the first Royal Canadian Navy helicopter to be fitted with the equipment needed to use the system. Its replacement, the Sikorsky CH-148 Cyclone, was also designed to work with the bear trap and entered service in 2015. After the success of the system, other navies adopted it for their own use. These include the United States, the UK, Australia, and Japan. The Bear Trap has been referred to as Recovery Assist, Secure, and Traverse, or RAST, by other navies, and it's also been known as Trigon, but all use the same principles. They all involve a probe or grappling device lowered on a steel cable into a flight deck grating before winching itself down while secured to the deck of a pitching vessel in heavy seas. The Bear Trap isn't just used for helicopters, it's also capable of the retrieval of unmanned aerial vehicles, also known as UAVs. The Bear Trap revolutionized the way aircraft land on carriers. Before the system existed, there was no way for these multi-purpose helicopters to take off and land in extreme conditions. Transportation to and from the hangar was also very dangerous and could result in death. But the Bear Trap dramatically reduced the risk of loss of life considerably. Its use allowed new versatile vehicles to be launched from seafaring vessels. Thanks to the Canadian Navy and their ingenuity, navies around the world can now benefit from a simple but effective method to get helicopters on deck with ease, even if the conditions are life-threatening. What do you think about the Bear Trap? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.